So now let's talk about a simple example. And I'll need your help to do it. Let's do sample grades for 10 students in the class. Okay, so we have uh, 10 students in the class, we're gonna get an average. So let's give us some grades in percent. 95. 95? 95. 77. 77. 0.5. <laughs> let's go with 77. <laughs> but I'm with you in spirit. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. That happens. Eight more. 83. 83. 89. 89. And 61. 61. Five down, five to go. 11. Oh, got okay, it. So we got to fail. Cool. Zero, because you didn't take it. Uh, I like something that may happen. Okay. 72. 72. 72. 72. 99. 99, sure. High performer. 100. I don't know if people will get 100. 91. So we have another A, okay? 84. 84, okay. So now, we have a collection of data. And now what we're going to do is you're going to act like a teacher would, or even an administrator, and we're going to analyze this data. We're going to talk about what types of performers were there in the class. How did they do? What was the average? And all that stuff. We're going to have that conversation. So now I'm going to introduce you to something super fun and fantastic and lovely, and that is using the calculator to do our calculations for us. Yes. Okay? So let's turn on our calculators and introduce this function here. Yeah, right. So fish. <laughs> I gotta like you gotta stand over and then go. Shovel. Go. Yeah. No, no, no. yeah. So we're gonna let the calculator calculate all the mean, median, all that stuff for us. So first it starts with stat. Hit the stat button. Oh no. Surprise, surprise, it would be stat, right? <laughs> and then here you have edits. So we're gonna edit. Where is it If I hit enter. And here we have our table, okay? Some of you may have stuff already in your table. So I'm gonna teach you how to clear the list of the table just in case you have it there. So let's go second quit out of this. Okay, you'll see this, yeah, the quit key, everything that's blue is there. You'll see this memory key, which is the plus, second plus. So hit second plus, which is for memory. And then you'll see the fourth option is clear all lists. You're going to have to do this over the course of our semester. So we're going to clear all lists, hit four, and hit enter. And uh, we did it. Okay. Now we're ready to go back into our list in case it was full. Stat and enter. So there we are. And now we have to enter in data. So uh, can someone read it to us? What were they again? 95? Yeah, 95, 77. 83. 83. 84. 84. 84. What do you think L1 stands for? L1, L2? List. 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 Right. So list of numbers. L1, L2. And we can see that we have 10 numbers in here. This is L1 spot 11. So clearly this would have to be 10. Okay. So we can quit out of here. Second quit. And we're going to go to stat. And then there's tabs over here. This function here is calc, so we move over to the right. And you do one variable statistics. Are we out of time? Please say no. Five minutes. Five minutes, good job. All right. So we're going to do one variable statistics on L1. So we're going to hit enter. Frequency, just to introduce this, that means do the list one time. Do the list one time. Don't do it anymore. Hit enter again. Calculate. OK. And here's all our data. X bar stands for the mean. X bar stands for the sample mean. So we can put that down. Sample mean was 80.4. Back. Median. Where is it? Uh, we can go down. I think we'll have to say it. There it is. Median, 83.5. Right there. Let's go back. 83.5. I think the mean was 0.6. 80. Oh, 0.6? Yeah. 80.6, thanks. Okay. 80.6. Range. The range, well, you can do the range by hand, more or less. Is the highest minus the lowest? 
they give it to us. Max, that's it. So it's 99 minus 55. 99 minus 55. 44. 44? Oh, that's it? It's just... Yeah. Yeah, it's 44. Yeah. Okay, and the final thing we're going to actually talk about is standard deviation. And that is this final thing here. Thanks for waiting for us with us, you guys. It's this number right here. Standard deviation, S. S, S. S yeah. 14.4. Final thing here. 14.4. And standard deviation, in a nutshell, measures the variation of the grades. So in this list, right here, in this list, whoops. It looks like crazy graffiti at this point. <laughs> In this list, the average is 80.6, and on average, each grade is around 14 away from average. On average, each grade is 14 away. Now, is that a high variation, do you think? Yes, this is pretty high. High standard deviation means high extreme values high extreme values. Because it's saying, on average, each grade is 14 away. On average, each grade is 14 away. You know what, we'll pick up standard deviation next time. All right, that was good. Just give yourselves a hand. All right. Good job, first time filming. Woo!